Hi, I'm Mark Benjamin, PE, Crown J Design and Engineering. I help do the structural engineering for this project. I'm very pleased to see the progress of the hempcrete, the stability and durability of it. I wasn't sure how solid those walls would feel with the tongue test, but they're solid as can be. I'm very impressed. I believe that this will serve as good lateral bracing within the wall system. It's strong enough for the large expanses for the winds we have up here. Uh, as a home designer and a home builder, um, what do you think of the look of it? Well, I think it looks great. I like the natural earth plasters look, the beauty of more natural forms. Mm. And the log work with the Y's for the braces and all that sort of stuff. It's it's very nice. It's gonna be very nice when it gets done. What do you uh, the overall goal for for the for the house is to be super insulated? Um, how, how do you think now looking at the material? Do you think it will will work that way? Do you feel like it, it will have an insulated value? Yes. Well, the R value of the material, yes, it, the, the walls are going to have a good R value. But what's nice about it is it's not typical stud construction where you've got those wood studs that are uh, bleeding heat through the thermal bridges. This is going to be a blanket of insulation around the home. It's, I certainly see where it can be airtight. Um, some of the areas next to the logs need some close attention just to make sure those spots, and that's where the different materials, you always have to pay more attention to that junction. But overall, the thing looks like it's really going to be a nice, tight, warm house, much better than a fiberglass insulation house. Since fiberglass is furnace filter material, <laughs> this will be much better. How, how do you feel uh, since you've been involved with, with many ecological buildings, with, from straw bale to uh, just about every, every form of building, uh, just right away, how do you think it compares? I think this is going to be a way to build houses and has been a way to build houses. Um, the log work is an additional bonus, bonus look for this project especially using the reclaimed burnt logs from the High Park Fire. Log work, the log work is not necessary for this type of house. I think that it could stand up by itself. Um, like I've seen, and, and Josh has mentioned, I know it's kind of labor intensive, but that's where you get community involved and you get friends and you get volunteers and you teach people new ways and new things we haven't seen any mold or or any buildup uh, of that nature after after doing the walls um, from what we understand it's a mold and, and mildew free pest resistant um, do you think that's possible uh, from a structural engineer point of view and after potentially seeing this material oh yes I do um, I know that these sort of natural earth plasters, natural products, lime cements, can all breathe. And so any moisture that's in the house is going to breathe out toward the outside. It's a pressure differential, um, vapor pressure. So if it's moist inside the house from a party, a bunch of people here, it's just going to wick right out through those walls and breathe through the outdoors where it's dry. When it rains outside, it's going to help keep the humidity at a good balance inside. That moisture is going to pass through these walls. And and why do you feel that's that's important, uh, especially in light of how we're traditionally building? You need to get any moisture that's in the walls out. People have problem with mold because oh, this is digressing a little bit from this type of construction, but. In a typical home, a one inch square hole on the inside, if there's moisture inside and that moisture wants to go to the outside, if there's a one inch square hole that will allow cups of moisture to get into the insulation and the structure. And that will condense when it hits colder parts and it rots away the structure, saturates the insulation. 
That sounds like, yeah, I'm not going to put a hammer hole in my, bro in my wall. A one eighth inch gap in the drywall around an electrical outlet is one inch square of area. Every outlet lets cups of water into a traditionally built home. Um, a properly sealed home, regular vapor pressure, when there's no holes like that and, uh, and the walls designed to dry in or out, only allows grams of moisture to get into that wall system. So a thing like this, yeah, this is going to be a very healthy home to live in. Speaking of health, uh, air quality, is that uh, the, a lot of folks have said uh, hemp seems like a very viable option because of healthier indoor air quality as well as uh, people who have uh, chemical sensitivity syndrome? Yes. Uh, how do you feel now after seeing... Uh, the properties of the of it uh, about the air quality, the air value, how that works. Oh, this is going to be a healthy home to live in. I can I can tell just by knowing how natural plasters, natural materials are much better for you. The beautiful natural wood floors, the wood ceilings, all of that. If you surround yourself with nature, you're going to be healthy. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yes. What do you think of these natural beams after being through the fire? Oh, they're beautiful. I've done several projects that have um, reclaimed timbers from the fire, and I love seeing it redone. Mm. I've worked on projects where the owners actually built uh, cut studs, cut square beams out of all the fire timbers. I have a fellow up uh, Davis Ranch Road I looked at last weekend who they're still charring in some of the pockets and he's mm -hmm. gonna uh, varnish those he's cleaned everything else off but being able to use the natural forms of the logs like finding the two forks for this main brace is just a beautiful feature from a structural standpoint how did the logs hold up after the fire it doesn't affect them. Doesn't you know, affect them? Right. As long as there isn't um, burn holes going through them, um, rot areas in them, this, this is just as stable and solid as anything. In fact, a lot of log builders really like dead standing timber for building log homes because it's pre-dried, pre-shrunk, pre-twisted. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a lot more stable home. Mm -hmm. And just from an engineer's perspective, from the log frame itself, how long do you think this might stand? This is going to be a 100-year house. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I mean, none of us are going to see the end of it.